Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 9 promos for Magic the Gathering FNM. And one of the things I want to talk about immediately is better FNM promos means more people. More people means more money for the local game store, which means a better environment. If the local game store owner is not worried about closing down every month, then they can provide better community, your community can grow, and that's how you get people into your store, is by convincing them that you have really cool promos and they should play for them. Now recently, we will have a for hub and Fatal Push, Fatal Push being an extremely interesting promo, and I like it. But historically, the promos have been a lot better during a period of time. And that period of time was quite a while ago. I always felt that the best way to get people into your local game stores is promos because your local game store is not going to be able to compete price wise. There will always be an online vendor who is willing to pay, pay for promotion for MTG personalities who say, oh, I love this product, I love this website, buy stuff from here. And there will always be a online vendor, most times a different vendor, who will have just the cheapest point, price point ever. David Adams is having like a massive sale, and on top of that, they it's apparently my like anniversary, right? Where like I subscribe to their email or something, and now I get even more discounts, so there will always be a cheaper vendor. However, if you want this promo, play F and M, and if you enjoy the community, buy a box from them, even if it's not at the lowest price. All right, so we have our first promo, and it is the only promo over hundred dollars. To be honest, I don't remember this promo. I remember some of them, but I don't ever remember seeing this promo. I cannot tell you. Uh, if this was actually given out in FNM or if these stores just kept them, a lot of these cards, these stores kept. And I'm not entirely sure why they did so except to resell it. Brainstorm, I do remember. I remember Brainstorm very well because I didn't get one, but I really wanted one. And I was able to trade for one from a friend who was a very casual player. And I was like, oh, how do you get this? And it actually tells you on the foil it's a fnm promo friday night magic this one is 50 dollars. at one time it was 150 dollars before it was reprinted into oblivion and foil one of the most beautiful foils in my opinion it has the same artwork as the mccadian mask and one of the most iconic and powerful cards it is not clear to me why all of our promos have to be standard cards when we had a summer where we had Path to Exile and Visions, that was not the case. And in the past, it wasn't like we had promos that were always in standard. In many cases, they were not in standard. And I'm going to show you the next card, which I don't think the promo came out when the card was printed. Or this is a card from Visions. Uh, it is a very good card in the elf deck, very good in EDH, and is $33 and very stable. So, a card from Visions, where their Visions, if you remember, does not have any foil cards. The first foil cards we saw were from Urza Saga, which is Lightning Dragon. The pre-lease one, I believe, is the first one. And then Urza's Legacy and Destiny all had foils as the selling mechanic. But this card was a old school card. And one that I hope we can see more of in terms of what it is. If Wizard of the Coast realizes blank card is expensive, maybe we should make it a promo. I hope blank card is EDH. Because EDH is where I could see a lot of these being quite valuable. And it is one thing to play for a standard promo. It's another to play for a promo that you know will have eternal value. And as Magic players, everyone is very value conscious, especially if you are going to play FNM. It's not unknown that you can buy boxes cheaper online. It's not unknown that you can buy singles cheaper online. But if a store has a good promo that drives traffic and for convenience, since you're already at the store, you might be 
willing to pay a higher price for the box because you enjoy the time. So reanimate, I have copies of this. I have lots of copies of this. I don't know how I accumulated so many, but it wasn't via FNM, it was via like trade. Reanimate at one point was very cheap. As you can see from the graph, it was like $10. And I felt like somebody sent me a bunch of these for a Christmas like exchange. I don't know, maybe I have the video, I had the videos on my old channel, which is now gone. But I sent like a hundred dollars of something and I got sent back a ton of reanimates. And that's how, and I'd never sold them and I, never, I just kept them in a box. And one day it was $30 and I was like, oh, huh. But I do remember this card very well. And I remember saying, huh, I hope they don't reprint this as a uncommon, which apparently they didn't. I assume that that's why the price is so expensive. But this is my favorite art of reanimate. So next time, we next card, we will look at cap size. You might see a trend here, and the trend is they should print, I mean, what I'm saying is they should print foil, EDH cards as promos for Friday Night Magic. That's how to get people back into stores. We might argue why are there not enough people at the stores, but I don't think anyone's gonna argue if we throw up a cap size that yes, your attendance will go up because people want this promo. Cap size is from Tempest. Tempest does not have any foils. So this is another example of them printing something as an f and promo and then giving it out when it's not playable in standard and people are really, really happy with it. I mean, I don't own any copies of this and I don't remember seeing it. It might be, I don't remember when this was given out. But man, I could definitely use a cap size promo for my ED8 deck. And that's what people like. People like to know that what they're getting is equivalent to, as strange as it sounds, to the $5 they put in at FNM. So another promo which is seeing more utility is Eternal Witness. I always didn't like this artwork and it's recently the price has gone up on the card. It has a lot of utility in modern, a tremendous amount of playability in ED8 as well. So I completely believe that the solution to the FNM problems are at least it can be mitigated is to give better promos that you physically have to be there. Otherwise, people are just going to play digital games like Overwatch, League of Legends, Dota, and they're going to play digital games because why not? But for Magic, one of the biggest selling points is you can meet someone new that you've never met, never ever would have talked to from all walks of life, all ages, all demographics, and play Magic with them. I think that's really good, and I hope we don't lose that. My gut feeling is, having seen another store go broke from the mall, so the mall is not the greatest place to have a magic store because they close at 9, so they have to begin like super early, or, or do Saturday, right? And one of the one of the reasons that these stores are not doing so well uh, currently is standard fatigue, but that can be solved by giving good card, good promos. Reman was a FNM promo. I don't own any Remans, but it is over $20, which is a nice price point for the promos. I'm not suggesting they should pick and choose like really valuable promos, although that would be nice. I'm suggesting they can pick better ones that they have currently picked and they don't need to limit this, themselves to standard because standard is not an area where there is a tremendous amount of value uh, for in the uncommon slot, right? But there's so many. I mean, let's assume that they point, uh, they, they, the next one of the promos is Devoted Druid, which is a $14 non foil price and a $50 foil. Yes, you would have people coming in, playing FM, and trying to win this promo, and you would have more people. More people will bring more people, and now your local game store that was dying is alive. Uh, cable coffers, do not remember this one. Uh, a lot of these promos are so old that like, even if I had them, I, I just don't remember what happened to them. 
I did sell my collection twice, so it is possible I had this promo and then one time just sold it. I like the concept of FNM promos, but I like them to be very strong. I like release promos to be strong. I like buy box promos to be strong because that is the that is one of the only advantages that your local game store has over an online vendor, right? An online vendor can pay for sponsorship for blank blank channel. A online vendor has assuming it can do more in volume and they can give a lower price point. They can make you know, a dollar a booster box if that means they get the sale. And they can always have sales. They have coupons and free stuff. And like once you're addicted to it, it's really hard for me to get off the free stuff that I keep getting from Dave and Adams because I buy, I, I buy other stuff with it. I buy, um, for instance, Exquisite. Uh, I used to buy a lot of Exquisite from them. I don't know if they carry that anymore. I don't really see that. And sports cards because I do like collecting them. All right, next card and last card, Priest of Titania. Beautiful card. Again, they can pick any common, any uncommon from the whole of Magic's history. And there's some really, really pricey ones that we know will have people come in. Even if it's a newer player, they can trade that card, hopefully for equal value, to a player who wants it and get more standard. It's all about the value economics, right? Because it's time and entertainment. If your time is valuable and you get enough, Magic is a really good value for in its entertainment, minus the initial cost of a deck. But you still need to encourage people to show up, to build a community, to buy stuff from the store, and that is absolutely key. Uh, I cannot imagine a store existing if everyone just wanted the lowest to pay the lowest price on every on singles and booster boxes because not your local game store will not be that unless it's like a large store. I don't know. I, I just hope that there's better promos and better release promos, better F and M promos. It looks like they're trending correctly, but my the reason I made this video was I wanted to show that it is possible to print ED8's F and M promos, and that's how to get people in. Fatal Push is nice. A for Hub is nice, but man, some of these promos we just looked at, you know, will have eternal value. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye, guys.